I'm gonna make this video short and sweet. For people that are just starting out playing guitar, always pick out something that you like, and that you're even if you quit, you're gonna like the look of it on your wall, because that's gonna make you want to pick it up and play it. You know, even when you don't want to play. The second tip is five days out of the week, exercise. Um, just sit there with your guitar, even if you're. Uh, not plugged in and it's electric or whatever and just start with two fingers then go to three and that will get you to memorize where those strings are and where, where the frets are And then figure out how you want to hold your pick. I usually just leave a little bit hanging out, just very little. And then I, it's aiming kind of towards the pickups. Play around with different thickness of picks just to see which one you end up liking and which one you pick faster or better with. And have fun. Like, that's the most biggest part. Find songs that are embedded in your head that you love, that you get into, that you're passionate about, and start playing them. Honestly, just start playing those songs. Um, like me, I'm a huge Megadeth fan, so that's what helped me develop the style I have today. So yeah, like, just have fun. Um, if you're not having fun, then it's not worth it. And remember, everybody learns things differently and everybody has a different style. Don't get discouraged about somebody that plays better than you because there's always going to be somebody that plays better than you. There's And your style is going to be different. You know, um, so yeah, never get discouraged and uh, always keep going. Uh, yeah, that's it right there. That's the key right there. And make keep it a hobby. Don't make it, you know... I guess if you do make it a profession, make sure it was your hobby first. And honestly, another good tip that a lot of people didn't tell me was, if you start out on acoustic, it's going to be a little bit uh, more of, your hands are going to callous a little bit harder. It is going to hurt a little bit at first. Um, with the acoustic start, but it does make you stronger. When you pick up an electric, things will come much more easier. And you'll feel like, oh my god, these strings are so light and easy. So having an acoustic does help. I mean, uh, I personally, I play metal and I missed my acoustic because uh, it strengthens your hands and when you pick up an electric, it's almost effortless to fly through the strings how close they are. Especially on this beast with it being close. And there's another thing. Don't be afraid of double locking tremellos. Um, if I would have learned them when I was younger, I would have been using them all these years. Um, don't be scared of that stuff. There's so many information at everybody's hands nowadays with cell phones, YouTube, Google, everything. So if you can't figure it out, watch them a million times and I'm sure you'll get it right off the bat. And then you'll be... Randy Rhodes in it in no time and outdoing me for sure. I've been playing since I was 16 and I still am not that good. But I play it more of as a hobby. Learn your chords too. Um, honestly, having those chords and once you learn them, um, what is it doing here? Oh, turning the gain off. Learn them chords because. And when you do learn your chords, 
make sure you uh, go through with them and play each note so that you hear them notes and you're memorizing what your stuff is and eventually it'll come second nature what your tuning is so if you immediately learn the you know a famous chord just pick it out and move one finger and keep doing that but make sure you practice at least 15 minutes to 30 minutes five days a week I recommend that it does not it's not that much time it's you spend more time probably searching stuff on the internet than it would take you to practice so yeah and nowadays lessons are everywhere I, I was stuck with tabs when I was growing up and they were mostly wrong so feel lucky you're in a day and age where you can find almost anything out there and I mean anything but yeah you got to make sure you have fun and that's my entry advice into guitar it's not that complicated um, as people make it seem or as it seems to you looking outside it just becomes second nature once you start doing it every day and, and you do get passionate about it but yeah look for the music you like and practice that and once you do you'll start to realize that oh my gosh this was easier than I thought and more people are picking up the guitar now since the pandemic than ever before um, more people are wanting to record at home get smaller rigs the 12 inch speaker is in the single 12 is in um, gear went up in price so starting out to just be real with you just get an entry-level acoustic or a used guitar get a you don't be afraid of a used guitar um, Right now is the perfect time to buy used instead of new, honestly, to tell you the truth. A lot of the manufacturers are just pushing out crap right now just to shove it down people's throats and get it out of there, and they're charging double for it. So be careful also. Yeah, do your research when you buy. But, uh, yeah, without stealing other people's, you know, techniques or ideas, that's just me being real with you. The pick thing, make sure you find your thickness. Uh, and... Like I said, make sure the guitar is beautiful and what you want and what you want to pick up because if I see this sitting on the wall, I can't go like I can't go a day without playing it. Yes, it has active pickups. I'm wasting battery right now, but I still can't go without playing it. It's just something about it, man. It's it's the guitar of my dreams, but it's not the guitar of everybody else's. Remember that. If you get into blues, play blues. All that stuff, man. Whatever you honestly listen to, even if you listen to trap music, you could even play with that eventually. You might want to learn some folk songs and then kind of like... Maybe you might get into bass. Who knows? Maybe you might want to be a DJ. I don't know. But yeah, don't get discouraged on the geek piddle because these things are awesome. And oh my gosh, if I didn't have this to relieve my stress, I don't know what I would do. Honestly, this is one of my biggest stress relievers right here. It's not a drug. It's not a pill. It's not a drink. It's not... I don't know how to explain it. Something about this removes more anxiety for me than... I can't even I can't explain it I really can't it's just something I love I don't even draw as much as I used to as a kid I used to be a great artist and uh, even as an adult I still I'd rather pick this up and just play man um but yeah always remember just don't get discouraged and keep playing buy a guitar buy a guitar <laughs> all right y'all have a good one that's my tips for anybody starting out like I said, start with one hand. Just pick up and down them strings until you start to feel comfortable. Then learn your chords. And remember to rest your hand where the bridge sits, and you should be good. All right.